Yo, what up guys, I'm Sammy, and today I'm gonna be reviewing the Li Ning JV1. So this is Jimmy Butler's signature shoe with Li Ning, obviously. And uh, Jimmy Butler was actually signed with Jordan Brand for quite a while. I remember he was playing in like the, the Jordan 31. And I was like, how is he playing in that shoe? You know what I mean? The traction is like not that good, sliding around all over the place, you know? Uh, but you know, Jimmy Butler, he signed with Li Ning like a year or two ago, and he finally got a signature shoe. And uh, he's been playing in it, of course. And this shoe is actually pretty damn expensive. It goes for 240 bucks on Famuji. So if you guys do want to cop, I'll try to leave a link in the description box. But let's get it started off with the Tractiones. And the traction is actually very, very cool, right? So they're using a foam outsole and they named it the HC Lock Honeycomb Structure Foam Rubber Outsole. That's just kind of weird. Uh, I don't know how it's a foam rubber outsole, right? Because it's there's no rubber it's not a rubber outsole it's just foam and of course another shoe that has like a foam rubber outsole is the curries and the curries have amazing traction and i feel like foam inherently just has really good traction and just bites wood floors very very well right so if you're playing on a clean court you're gonna be good to go it has an amazing bite but i would actually say it doesn't stop as hard as the curries which is a good thing. You know, the curries actually stop too damn hard sometimes. You know, if you're playing on an immaculate court, it stops instantaneously and it kind of hurts your feet, your toes, your ankles, your knees. It hurts your whole body. You know what I mean? It hurts your brain. Uh, so yes, yeah, sometimes it's a little jarring at how fast it stops, right? So uh, the JB1 is using like the same kind of foam or not the same kind of foam, but like the same kind of concept. And it slides a little bit more, right, than the curries, which is actually a good thing. It slides a little bit less than like rubber outsoles. So it has better stops than rubber outsoles on a clean court. Um, so that was actually pretty refreshing, right? So if you're playing on a clean court, you're gonna be good to go, has an amazing bite. However, if you're playing on a dusty setting, it does pick up a little bit more dust than the curries actually. But the good thing is it's a very easy and slight wipe, right? Uh, it picks up dust like moderately fast. I wanna say it picks it up very, very quickly. So when you're playing on a dusty court, if you keep up with your wipes, you should be good to go. Uh, but it does start to slide around a good amount if too much dust builds up, right? So just be careful on that. But like I said, if you keep up with the wipes, you're gonna be good to go. Uh, however, if you're playing on an outdoor court, it does not seem good at all, right? So I actually didn't play on an outdoor court here with the JB once, but you can, I don't know if you guys can see, hopefully the camera's picking it up, but right here, there's a good amount of wear and tear, right? It's like kind of ripping off as far as the foam goes, right? Uh, like here and also like here in the heel. And this is a super high wear area. So that's just me playing on an indoor court, right? So if you're playing on an outdoor court, you're gonna run through this very, very quickly, I feel like. And if you're playing on indoor court, uh, it'll probably wear out, uh, not super fast, but it'll probably wear out in like at least half a year if you play a lot. So just be careful on that. And that definitely does suck because it's a more, like a really, really expensive shoe. So I wish they would have made it like a little bit more durable. I feel like the curries are a little bit more durable, right? Maybe I don't add something to the actual like, composition of the material or the foam. But anyways, uh, the durability, not that good, but performance is really, really good. Like has an amazing stop. And I, I really enjoyed playing in the shoe because of that. Now moving on to the heel to toe transition, which is also one of my favorite parts about this shoe, right? So heel to toe transition is pretty important to me. I like to have a very smooth ride, right? Especially going down the court doing heel dominance rides. So uh, here in the heel, we have this crazy rounded shape. Look at that. Just feels very, very smooth here in the heel. And also in the forefoot, look at how much it curves up. Look at that. And also we have very nice forefoot flex. And also we have like a full length carbon fiber plate, uh, which also, look at that. It has a nice rebound back, has a nice spring-like effect here in the forefoot. So it's actually one of my favorites for heel to toe transition, right? So for example, shoes that have carbon fiber plates are a little bit more stiff, right? Uh, the Wouten actually is not a good example because this also has nice forefoot flex, right? But there are shoes that are like super flexible, right? For example, here in the 808 too, it's super flexible, right? Which I like, um, but it doesn't have that like kind of spring back uh, like stiffer sole shoes have, right? So it does everything like exceptionally well, right? You know, the shape of the shoe is super rounded, which I like, uh, not clunky at all. 
And then here in the foreville, we have that carbon fiber plate, which makes it pretty springy when you kind of like go, go off of your forefoot, you know what I mean? So very, very nice, very bouncy, very springy, and very smooth heel to toe transition. So the JB1 was amazing for that. Now moving on to the cushioning setup. So we have a drop in midsole and drop in midsoles are one of my favorite types of cushioning setups because you can have your foot be right on top of the foam, right? So we have full length boom foam, uh, which is very, very nice, but I don't really like this. I don't like how they glued this down because it stiffens up the boom and you can't feel like the compression as much. You know what I mean? It's still nice compression, don't get me wrong, but uh, I feel like, you know, if it wasn't there, you know, it would've been a little bit nicer. For example, here in the 8082, we have a cloud drop in midsole without the, that lining, right? And it has very nice step and comfort, right? But anyway, step and comfort is still pretty nice in this shoe. Uh, it is a little bit thicker than the Ultras, which feels nice, but it's still pretty damn thin. Like you still have pretty good court feel. And also the impact protection is nice. You know, you have a nice little bounce here in the heel and nice compression is comfortable. Uh, and impact protection, even on hard impacts, was pretty damn good for me as well. For example, in the 8082 Ultras, which have pretty much a similar setup, it's a little too soft and like it would bottom out and it would hurt my feet a little bit, especially on heel strikes, but the JB1 feels like it's a little bit thicker. So because of that, I feel like, you know, like my foot didn't hurt as much for harder impacts. So overall, it's a really nice cushioning setup. Like it's comfortable, you have good core feel, you have good step and comfort, you have adequate impact protection and a little bit of bounce here in the heel. So it's a really nice overall cushioning setup that does most things like really, really well. And now moving on to the material. So we have boom fiber, right? I guess leaning just likes the word boom. Uh, but yeah, it's a really nice kind of like textile or knit material. I do like how it looks. Like if you look at the material at different angles, it shines with a different color, right? So in this colorway, it's either yellow or like red which is a very nice premium touch. It's super thin, but also very supportive, right? And it conforms to your foot very, very well. Here in the tip of the toe, we have some plastic. And then a little bit above that, we also have some fuse, like this U-shaped fuse for extra durability and support. But overall, it's a really comfortable material because it conforms to your foot so well. It stays extremely thin here in the midfoot, as you guys can see. And then for the tongue, we have pretty minimal padding, but kind of like, like in the center of the tongue, we have like a foam pad, which feels kind of nice. And then for the ankle area, we also have pretty minimal padding. So it feels very nice and minimal on foot. It, it doesn't feel cozy at all, which of course is subjective. You know, if you want a cozier upper, then this is not a great option. But if you want a very minimal feeling material that conforms your foot very well and is supportive and also feels quality, then this is a great option. All right, moving on to the fit. I went true to size and it fits me well. I would suggest most people go true to size. As far as the width goes, I would say it's uh, normal width to slightly narrow. Uh, one thing I didn't like about the fit, however, is that it's a little bit roomy here in the toe box. Nothing terrible to the point where I hated it, uh, but I wish it was a little bit more snug in my personal opinion. But of course, if you like a roomier fit in the toe box then you should be fine going true to size if you have a wide foot however probably just go up half a size and you should be good to go also this shoe is super easy to put on because we have a very nice and high heel tab which is a nice added bonus and for support and lockdown i was good to go right so for lateral containment we have a lot of lateral counters and if you look at the actual drop in midsole, so there is a side wall to improve the lateral containment as well so that plus here in the forefoot you know we have this plastic piece and the foam coming up with this like teeth design here in the midfoot we have this plastic piece and then here in the heel we have like an external heel counter and the foam coming up so lateral containment i was good to go and it felt very very secure because of that and i feel like even if you're a bigger dude doing very shifty movements you should be fine as well uh, also lateral stability was very good you know a very wide base you know we have this kind of like outrigger a little bit so the shoe was overall very laterally stable and also i had zero heel slippage and all that so support and lockdown was very very good for me now moving on to the weight of the shoe if i remember correctly it was around like average weight right yeah, 12.35 ounces. Let's check the other pair. 12.31 ounces. So yeah, so it's around average weight and it feels very nice. You know, when I was playing it, I felt very, very quick because the traction was so good. Cushion was low to the ground and responsive. Minimal feeling upper and support was great. So I really enjoyed playing in the shoe because I felt very quick playing in it. It reminded me a, a good amount of the Curry's because there is zero squeak from the traction. It's very, very quiet, you know what I mean? So you kind of feel like a ninja, you know?
Uh, but anyways, there's that. Moving on to the ventilation. So the airflow is actually pretty good through the spoon fiber and it's a very thin material. So ventilation is very good here in the JV1s. And as far as the aesthetics go, I absolutely love it. The colorways that are coming out look awesome. And also the overall design and silhouette of the shoe looks great. It reminds me a lot of like Kyrie's design, especially with the teeth uh, here in the outsole. But yeah, I also really love this gradient. You know, it's just a great looking shoe. So tell us what you guys think of the aesthetics down in the comment section below. So wrapping things up, yes, Leaning has killed it again. This shoe is a freaking banger. I absolutely loved playing in this shoe, right? It has a nice cushioning setup, amazing traction, uh, really good quality materials that feel very nice on foot and it's minimal. Support was great, it fits me very well. Just wish it was a little bit tighter in the toe box, but not that big of a deal, right? So yeah, I mean, I feel like most people will enjoy it. If you're a guard, amazing shoe. If you're a bigger dude, I feel like you, you would also enjoy this shoe. Your support's great. A uh, cushion is overall pretty damn nice as well. So whatever play style you have or uh, whatever position you play, I feel like this also uh, is a great option. It's just like a great overall all around performer. You know, I feel like most people will enjoy playing in the shoe as well as I have and I will because this will heavily be my rotation. It's an amazing, amazing shoe and I had an amazing time playing in it. So anyways, that about concludes this video of my performance review of the JB1. Again, if you guys do want to call, I'll try to leave a link in the description box, but that's it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.